What's up guys, I am back again once again and as always I'm here with yet another reaction video now I know Uchi games is mainly about video games and you know some some anime but today we have pretty much best of both because both franchises have an anime and several video games so I decided why not record a reaction video to Death Battles Pokemon vs. Digimon. Now, this is a 20-minute video, so uh, it was going to be a pretty long one. Um, this is pretty much me going to be watching this for the first time. You know how I do my reactions. They have to be this way, or else it's fraudulent. It's always fraudulent if it's not done the first time. All right? So without further ado, let's get right into the swing of things. The of Death Battle is brought to you by Lenovo Game State. Before you keep watching, head to LenovoGameState.com and leave a comment to build right, a video game so the way you want. Ad stuff. Just click the link in the description below to get started. And be sure to use the hashtag GameState on social media to spread the word. Word. Alright, here we go. I always love that death battle music right there. Since the darkest depths of the human psyche first created monsters, we've oh, dreamed of Godzilla. harnessing their awesome power. Like Red and his Pokemon hey, Charizard. Hey, my man Charizard. And Ty and his Digimon, Agumon. Oh, wow, they're These using clips from Try. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm rooting for Charizard. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a very bad feeling. All right, we're going to go over Pokemon man, first. He's wasted his life doing God knows what. You may realize that you always wanted to catalog every animal in the world, but that would be a lot of work, so you probably would just bribe a kid to do it for you. So began the right. story of Red, an 11-year-old boy from Pallet Town. That's right. Red's mission was to challenge the gym leaders of the Kanto region, defeat the Elite Four to become champion, and of course, capture all 150 currently known Pokemon. And he did. To do this, he needed a partner, a companion, a friend, a Pokemon. For obvious Where you at? reasons, he chose the awesome fire dragon. It wasn't really a tough decision. The thing is, my dad wait, gave me the wait, name Red, hoping better. that when I grew up, it would help me have the passion and energy of a red hot fire. Homie! While exploring the world, Red and his Charmander began to grow and learn. Eventually, the little red lizard evolved into the five foot seven, two hundred pound mighty Charizard. Yeah! Charizard is his go to Pokemon in battle. And he's taught him a variety of powerful moves. That's right. His flamethrower is hot enough to melt boulders, making it over 2100. Man, I wish they made a Pokemon game where you can, can have all the moves. With seismic toss, beat the shit out of him with Mega Punch and Mega Kick, trap foes in a vortex of flame with Fire Spin, never miss stars with Swift, and bring the heat even higher huh? with the ultra powerful Fire Blast. Yeah, Charizard that still is no Swift. Pokemon, there are Respect. Of other moves Red may have taught Charizard, oh! Including Wow, they're using Project M footage? Damn, that's a freaking slap in the face. That's why Red is always better than Ash. And in the Pokemon world, a strong bond between trainer and monster can make crazy things happen. In Red's case, he unlocked the power of Mega Evolution. And this right Mega here Charizard was when I lost a major it. Boost in attack, defense, I couldn't believe attack, they did that in the before. special of to Origins. To add even more power, Mega Charizard X gains the Tough Claws ability, increasing the power of contact moves by 33%. But fighting with a Charizard has its own share of problems. Mm -hmm. Being a fire and flying type, a Charizard is weak to rock, electric, and water type attacks. And don't mean shit. You see what Charizard's he did to Blastoise? He dies. Man, that seems like the worst thing ever. I mean, could you imagine living in constant fear that, oh, I don't know, you'd get caught in the rain and die? Fortunately, a Charizard's tail flame burns so hot, not even water can douse it so easily. However, right. like what does that even make sense? Red's decision and direction. Without his trainer, he would be as random and unfocused as a wild animal. Luckily, strategy is Red's specialty. Red is famous for not just his unbreakable faith in his Pokemon, but also his brilliant and sometimes unorthodox strategies in battle. While still only 11 years old, Red defeated Kanto's eight gym leaders, took down the criminal organization team. Rocky, okay, so this is this about Red or is this about is this like Red versus Ty or is this Charizard versus Raymond? Come on, freaking death battle. Charizard Stay on topic here. 
They dislike fighting weaker opponents and really enjoy a challenge. That was a nice combo. Many well trained Charizards but he was still gonna live. battles against all odds. Ash Ketchum's Charizard defeated an Articuno. Yes. Both his and Red's claimed victory in one on one duels with Blastoises. Blastoise? The, the big the, wa the water turtle that's hard to beat. Which, on paper, should have an enormous advantage. Take notes! But that's not the limit to the flame Pokemon's feats. Mega Charizard X has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with legendary Pokemon capable of altering the planet. And Rex yeah. has even defeated Mewtwo. Say the what? Most powerful psychic Pokemon known to me. That's man. right! After becoming the Kanto champion and catching over 150 Pokemon, Red and Charizard wandered the world, always training, always fighting, until eventually they stopped at Mount Silver and Johto. Distancing themselves from the rest of the world for no real reason, Red and Charizard stood atop its peak, waiting for the day a new champion would Why rise are you talking to challenge about this? them. Another epic moment in Pokemon. Yes! Let's go! Alright. Yeah, that's all done. Hey! One fateful summer day in 1995, Taikamiya, or Yagami Taichi in Japan, mm -hmm. went to camp with his friends. It promised to be a summer of fun and Oh, they're using the, the theme song. The rainbow hole opened up in the sky, shot Tamagotchi from and everybody. Was that Try or the, the Japanese version? Space. Yeah. Well, yeah, basically. When Tai woke up, he discovered he'd been transported to the digital world, where he met a bouncing pink blob that can talk. You don't need to be afraid of me. I'm your friend. I'm your friend. I'm your friend. Man, this show is weird. That's Koromon, a Digimon specifically created to be Tai's partner and friend. And to protect Tai from harm, Koromon learned how to Digivolve, Digivolve. becoming the Fire Lizard Agumon. Hey. That's more like it. Agumon is a rookie level Digimon with deadly claws and a fire attack called Pepper Breath. Pepper Together Breath. Together with the other Digi Destined, Tai and Agumon traverse the digital world bringing balance to the chaos and destruction caused by several diabolical monsters. Mm. Including an Elvis Presley impersonator who was also a monster. Oh, I remember that, dude. Let's get something straight, sonny boy. I'm the monarch of rock and roll. Your jabs will make me happy. Man, how high were they when they wrote this thing? <laughs> As their opponents became more and more powerful, so did the friendship between Tai and Agumon. As their bond grew, so did their power. And Agumon soon learned how to digivolve even further. Yeah. Up is his champion form, Greymon. Yeah, yo, this is, this is why Digimon, yo, Digimon was awesome. Greymon. Yeah, this is the one thing that English oh version had over the Japanese. The whole cute they should have adopted that in the Japanese version. Terrifying stories tall and way more powerful. Good luck snuggling up with that. Greymon is so strong, he is more than capable of trumping other champion level opponents in combat, especially with his trademark attack, Nova Blast. Next up is my favorite, Metal Greymon. This form's got a robot arm and shoots missiles. Metal Greymon mm. also wears layers of chrome digizoid armor, the hardest metal in the digital world. Since the digital world is based on the real world, all real life metals can exist in it as well, making mm. chrome digizoid tougher than the likes of tungsten, steel, and titanium. What? And finally, there's That's crazy. War Greymon. Though he's a lot shorter than Metal Greymon for some reason, but it's a small package with a lot of punch. Quite literally, in fact. War Greymon wears two clawed gauntlets called the Draymond Destroyers, weapons which are extremely deadly against draconic foes. To add to his defense, he carries the Brave Shield on his back, which is capable of blocking attacks from other mega level Digimon. We've come a long way from the annoying big blob. War Greymon's ultimate attack is the Terra Force, where he puts all the energy from the atmosphere into a big ball. So, how is Charizard winning? Why did they even do this? <laughs> Damn, that is some dragon this is busted! But don't overestimate a Digimon's power. The Agumon line is weak to Earth Elemental attacks, and too much damage may exhaust him and force him back to a prior form. Also, while Agumon and his ascending forms can't uh, fight and think okay. alone, his power comes directly from Tai. 
Without their connection, Digievolution would be impossible. Yeah, but Ty started off as kind of a selfish dick. He even tried to trick Greymon into Digivolving further, which ended in a skeletal monstrosity oh, rampage. Oh, yeah. Well, he never wanted to come off that way, but sometimes Ty was just too courageous That's for That's crazy. I remember that. And for those around him. Even as a child, his courage was unprecedented, promoting his strong relationship with Digimon in the first place. This is what, oh yeah, that's taken from another movie. Over time, he learned the humility and responsibility necessary to successfully lead the Digidestined against Apoclamon, basically the physical embodiment of the recycle bin, and save <laughs> both the digital and the world from being <laughs> the forever. recycle bin. And with the universe saved, they donned suits to become. UN diplomats to the digital world. Drugs, man. What? That wasn't Ty, was it? I need to finish Digimon, man. I never finished that when I was a kid. Go for it. Nova Flare. Whoa. Nova Flare. Well, I guess I know what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Battle time. All right, the combat I, don't, I mean, I don't know how Charizard is going to beat more Greymon. You know what's going to end that's going to end up being. Unless he, like, de digitizes or something. Do you want to make a video game? Well, then we have a mission for you. Lenovo hooked up a few former AAA developers with the Lenovo Y series computers. They're making a 3D sci-fi tower defense game based on your suggestions and feedback. Your mission is to click the link in the description to go to LenovoGameState.com and leave comments on the tile, Mission 2, Defend Your Territory. Leave your comments, questions, and suggestions That's to cool. influence the direction of the I want game. One. Once you're done, be sure to spread the word on social media using the hashtag Dargons. Let's build a game together with dragons or whatever you want. But right now, it's time for a death battle! Oh, here we go. Ah, there's nothing better than a campfire and a golden, delicious marshmallow. Who's that Pokemon? Huh. You gonna try to catch it? Come on, yo, you know you know better than that. You killed my marshmallow! Whoa! You can talk? You must be really rare! I like how they use Pokemon training. Hey Agumon, brawl. I got some I choose you! Charizard! Alright. He's gonna really just start from Okay, I see. It makes sense. Uh okay. <laughs> Okay, very random, but acceptable, I guess. Okay, so we all know that. <laughs> that was funny. Damn, he hit him with that forward smash. And here comes the. Wow. He ain't even telling them what to do. So they made that. Hey, here we go. The digital world. Let's try. Are you for real, son? Yo. Doesn't Red notice that this is obviously his Mon? <clears throat> Can't be catching other Mons. Do you hear that soundtrack? Yo, I want this Digimon soundtrack, yo. Yo, someone link me, please. That's hot. That's hard. That's hard metal right there, huh? Keep it up. Yeah. 
Damn, we gonna just Oh Hey. for real. No. I guess that's that. Really? They're gonna Hold up. They're gonna have him. They're really gonna have him mega evolve right now. Yo, he still has to do Metal Greymon and War Greymon. Man, this is rigged. So rigged. Straight what? They skipped metal? Oh no. This is where this is where it all goes downhill. Greymon. What? It evolved again? Yeah. Now you'll see what a real mega form can do. Charizard, take him out quick! So he blocked his move. Interesting. You swift. <laughs> yeah, see how much that does. Yo, I want this soundtrack. When does that happen? Supposed to fight? Call up your dragon. My turn. Die, look out. Oh, jeez. Charizard, you okay? Charizard may have started off with a mobility and versatility advantage, but the difference in power between the two only grew as the battle went on. Uh -huh. First, when comparing the trainers, Red's bond with Charizard was strong enough to mega evolve, but like most Pokemon, their relationship is still one of master and, well... Slave, come on, you know it's true. I know there's the bond of friendship and whatever, but when Red's through with Charizard, it's back to the tiny spherical prison. Tai and Agumon, on the other hand, are best friends on equal footing, and Agumon's fighting power comes directly from Tai. Yeah, these kids were called the Digi Destin for a reason, and together they had enough power to stop an attack which could have wiped out both even... the digital and wow. real worlds. And this is the power Agumon's using to Digivolve. Charizard's flame could melt boulders, but that's hardly comparable to Chrome Digizord armor. Hell, Metal Greymon alone is officially documented as possessing the power of a nuclear warhead. And War Greymon has weapons specifically designed to kill dragons. Yeah. Honestly, it all comes down to a huge difference between Pokemon and Digimon itself. Oh yeah. The escalation of evolution. Pokemon evolution improves monsters in increments, whereas the gap between Digimon forms is often massive and quite frankly absurd. In the end, Red and Charizard couldn't even hope for as much as a tie. The winner is the Digimon. All right, what's next? Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Chad. I play Boomstick. I'm Zerg. I'm a 3D animator. And I'm Ben. Don't, I play Wiz. Don't they have a preview so, of, ne of what's next? I'm just to animate this cool stuff. I'm yeah. just a present killer. I just killed Charizard.
You're the worst. <laughs> it's his fault. <laughs> blame him, blame him. Uh, thank you guys so much uh, for all of your support throughout the season. It's been crazy. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching this awesome season Don't thank me, nigga. finale. We're going to be out just for like a couple months. We'll be coming back with a season three in March. But for the meantime, we want this guy to get some sleep. He works yes. way too hard. We want to try use that time to get ahead, and uh, we've got a lot of great stuff planned for season three. If you want to keep up with us uh, during the break, you can follow us on our own social media, as well as follow at ScrewAttack on Twitter or official essay on Facebook, and we'll no let thanks. you guys know the exact date when uh, Death Battle's coming back. So. Speaking of uh, social I won't media, be, I won't be counting, actors, but all right. There's social media in the description below. You can check that out. And one of them... Nate Wants to Battle, you may have heard of him, he's around the YouTubes. He did some of the battle music. Nate Wants to Battle, did battle music for Death Battle. Oh yeah, alright, I'm gonna click his link. Battle music for Death Battle, Pokemon Battle. Thank you, Nate. We'll see you guys later. Thanks. Looking forward to yeah, I'm getting his music right now. Okay, there's no preview. Thanks nope. again to Lenovo for helping to make okay, no preview. Of Death Battle. Okay, my thoughts. That was bull. From the get go, all right. Why? Oh my god. Why did? Okay, let me take my headphone. Why the hell? Why did they even bother? Okay, like, I don't understand why they they decide. Like, I just don't. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Like, I thought Death Battle was supposed to be about like two, like somewhat evenly matched, where it was like you could not tell. But like even. I am a huge Pokemon fan. Charizard, hold up. Where's my wallet? Okay, you see this? Do you see this? I'm a huge Pokemon fan. Charizard fan especially. And I'm, and I'm like, I'm just, I'm just trying to understand. Look, look more, more, more Charizard stuff. Look, look. See, I'm a, I'm a Charizard fan. Like I'm a huge Charizard fan. I love I love Charizard. I love Pokemon. Alright, but I love Digimon too. And I love both well enough to know to not combine the two in any way, shape, or form. Okay? This is like I don't even this might even go like off tangent a little bit because it's like why like my, my concern is why did it what what possessed them to do this? Because I I knew Charizard was gonna lose. I'll just put it that way. I knew he was going to lose. There is no way. Yo, after they said a few of those things about about how the Digivolution worked and all those those perks that, that War Grimmon had on his armor, I was like, done deal. I was like, there would be no way. Unless I was like a super butthurt fan right now and I was like, no way, Charizard should have won, blah, blah, blah. There's no way he could have won. No way. Espe espe I don't know why they ended it the way they ended it. Okay, like... That's a gripe that I have right there. Like, first of all, if it was about the two Pokemon fighting, because that's obviously what they're 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 comparing. They're not like why would you have Ty and 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 Red fight? Like that's what that is that that shouldn't have that should have been cut. Number one, number two. Did you really have to stab my dude so hard several times in the chest? Dude, do Pokemon kill other Pokemon like that? Hell no. Digimon, y'all might do that, and that's okay. That's a different show. But you real like, I, I know, now that I think about it, I don't remember ever seeing a Digimon slaying another. I mean, it's called Death Battle, sure, but it's like, you, you're taking two kids shows, and you essentially just, like... Like you, you really like you just made it more severe and extreme than, than you had to. I mean, if you want, like, if we all knew Grey Mile was gonna win, I'll say that being a huge Charizard Pokemon fan, all right, ain't ain't no sweat off my back. I'm fine. I'm I'm living. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be playing Cloud and Smash Brothers soon. Street Fighter Five beta soon. I will be okay knowing that Charizard lost or Pokemon lost to Digimon. But it's just a plain fact. Digimon are completely different creatures. They got shit that doesn't even exist in the real world. They got, what they say? They got metals and, like, certain types of, like, like just things that don't exist in the human world that are stronger and better than, than what we have. It, 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 I don't like how they just, they take two unbalanced things. Like, do not ever do that again. Like, I... I don't know what I'm saying, like, I, I really don't get it.
Like they they need to stick to 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 like two things that are like kind of, that come kind of close. And honestly, the only real way I could have seen Charizard winning is if it was just a battle between Greymon and him. And that's it. That's it. As soon as they yo, they you even saw. They didn't they even skipped. They skipped a form. He didn't even go metal Greymon. He went straight to the rip, straight to the jump. They killed him. They literally killed Charizard. They killed Charizard. They killed Ash. That is not okay. That's not okay. All right. That's just. That, like. I'm not all right with that. I'm really not. Like, have the dude lose. Okay. I'll be fine. But you got to mutilate him. Really? Really? Really, Chad? Really, Ben? Really, Animator? I forgot your name, but sorry. But come on, man. Like. Whatever. My thoughts, that was ridiculous. Over, overdone, over-exaggerated, all right? Some of the fight scenes were cool. The cinematics were cool. The soundtrack was probably my favorite part of the whole freaking fight. But that was just O-D, seriously. Like, good, good night. I'm out. I'll be on stream later. But that's it. That fight was, that fight was rigged from the get-go. Shouldn't have even happened. That's my thought right there. Deuces.